Hi Leo, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of April of 2021 spiritual advice reading. I'm going to lay two separate spreads today. First, Celtic spread representing career and finance. Second, Celtic spread representing love and romance. So I'm going to switch the camera from pointing at me over to my tripod so you can see the cards and the, uh, the spreads as I lay them out before me. All right, so here we are, Leo. I'm going to start out with the Psychic uh, Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. And again, I'm going to lay a Celtic spread representing the energy surrounding whichever Leo I'm reading for during this general reading. Bless them with clearly defined messages regarding career and finance, love and romance, and or spiritual guidance. Dear Lord, Spirit Guides and Angels for the first half of April of 2021. Okay. Ooh. So in the center of the Celtic spread, and this is a career and finance reading, we have the number six representing success. So it uh, appears that this particular uh, Leo is feeling very successful in their connections and communications with another or others right off the bat in the beginning of April of 2021. Now this is interesting. In the thoughts position, we also have the number six card moving on. So I think there was some discontent here in the thoughts of this Leo for a period of time, but now Spirit saying it's time to move on into the direction of a very harmonious connection when it comes to another or others. I'm feeling this energy during the whole first half of April of 2021. Yeah, because this Leo has the messages of love card. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry, memories of love. And again, a number six in the foundation. So this is about letting go of how things used to be, letting go of people, places, and circumstances of the past, and moving instead, right, on into the direction of some form of harmony. Um, we have sixes here, so I feel a very successful energy uh, during the first half of April of 2021. Now, in the recent past, uh, we had the number eight. Interesting. So the eight is like the infinity symbol, right? Um, am I going to repeat unhealthy patterns, behavior cycles, or connections with others? Or am I going to move towards harmony? So this is someone who did some reflecting, and then things started moving rather quickly. Uh, that, uh, that took their mind away from uh, old, unhealthy something, even if it's thoughts, feelings, emotions. Uh, it is during this first half of April, Leo, where you're going to be able to move on, to let go, and to move instead into a great harmonious connection with another or others. Now, by the second week of April of 2021, we have your heart chakra being lit up. Beautiful. So, with the number four, this speaks of a solid foundation of opening your heart to others because you feel so solid and successful and stable and harmonious in your life. You know, when we're cold and we're closed off, our heart chakra is not lit up, but it's showing it as really lighting up here, uh, especially I'm hearing in the first week or two of April of 2021. Now, in the actions position, we have the number five. We have uh, financial and material changes. So five is about unpredictable constant motion and the fear with this card of making changes in the area of finances or things of the material. And Spirit saying, let go of those old worries. Think now about a beautiful foundation where there are harmonious communications and know that you can move on uh, from maybe waiting. You know, you waited and waited and waited for this harmonious situation to start. And finally, with the accelerated motion card, it did, you know, at the end maybe of March of 2021. Now, in your inner strengths position of the Celtic spread, one represents a new path, new direction, new chapter. And with that card comes the, the words passion ignited. 
So Spirit is giving this Leo the strength to move into a new direction in a very passionate and excited way with an open heart, moving on from old memories of concerns regarding money, old memories of nothing's happening, right? Now in the hopes and fears position, we do have deception and envy. Ooh, so we have maybe a Leo here who is fearing that someone is going to deceive them and or uh, someone is, you're maybe you're envious of someone else's situation here. Um, but again, spirit saying, move on. Let those memories go. Open your heart for it's time for exciting new beginnings. So by mid-April of 2021, we've got this very magical spiritual number seven, meaning that whatever you are working towards, whatever you are trying to manifest, spirit has been watching and they're going to give you signs and synchronicity. So it's an important time to pray for those as a doorway is set to open. So as a beautiful doorway is opening, pay attention to the positive signs. Uh, get excited about this foundation in connection to another or others because it's looking really good. The only one who can uh, affect this situation adversely is someone who is envious or um, doesn't have the ability to trust. Okay, Spirit's saying move on from that type of thinking, especially in the area of money here. You're going to come into communication with the right people where you can move on and let go. So don't fear others in a new doorway, but instead get excited, get passionately excited because spirit is helping you with the number seven by mid April to open that door. Okay. So again, in the past in a three card summary here, we have someone who is feeling disrupted, unsure, trapped in fear and worry regarding a particular partnership or alliance. And I just saw the intuition card. So it could have to do with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Now, by the second week of April of 2021, uh, there's a realization that whatever seeds were planted in the past, uh, beautiful things are happening because of that. So now we have new decisions, directions, choices, and a path that is beginning to flow beautifully. So again, spirit saying, sacrifice any muddy waters. Go into the direction of the rainbow and the blue skies and let what needs to fall away that is unhealthy fall away. For when it comes to new beginnings, it is a time to plan with the number zero, to get ready to step into a new direction in a very passionate and exciting way. Because we have the number one showing up, which is the base chakra, the ability to ground one's self without the fear of mistrust, knowing that as you stand your ground, and maintain your boundaries with others, uh, you will eventually start to see the truth of a situation. And that's that this is a very balanced situation. That eventually, when this doorway opens with a number seven, again, 777, we have you realizing that you uh, are celebrating triumph in your journey and triumph in the journey of those around you. Beautiful. So if you want to know about a new path, but you're uh, anxious about the material changes in your life, uh, feel free to write me for a personal reading. My email address is josiek42 at gmail.com, and we'll see how Spirit is trying to guide you into the path of your highest, best good. All right. Romance, love and romance. I'm going to be using the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. And again, I'm going to lay a Celtic spread. I'm going to then follow up this spread with a uh, the Rider Waite tarot deck so I can pinpoint any specific astrological signs and or elements by which this Leo will be connecting with during the first half of April of 2021. Look at that. So they're saying right off the bat, Leo, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Pray to spirit for the highest, best outcome and then free your mind. Yes, you are lovable. You deserve love. Maybe part of you is fearing um, that people will take advantage of you, that you can't trust them. 
So Spirit's saying this moment of pause in the past, and even that may still be kind of happening in the first half of April, it's time for you to kind of disconnect from the world. Uh, hand your worries to Spirit. Spirit knows that you deserve love. If you're single, Spirit is saying we are sending you, uh, we're, we're aiming this arrow right at you and are ready to send you the proverbial right one. Um, but find contentment in your alone time, trust in prayer, and know that spirit agrees you truly do deserve love. Now, for some Leos in the past, uh, you came together with a romance of a lifetime, a true love, and spirit saying, trust that that is what it was meant to be. Don't second guess your relationship in the first half of April, because Spirit's saying, yes, indeed, this could very well be the one. If you're single, you may have connected with someone in March, and now you're just trying to wait in this moment of pause, um, feeling as though this is the right one. Now, I'm feeling for married Leos, uh, maybe for a while you were unsure of uh, if you were being treated the way you were meant to be, uh, but now Spirit's saying, you know, you've met the partner that you are seeking. It's going to be okay. Yeah, what did I say? Reconciliation. So by the second going into the third week here, uh, this particular Leo that I'm reading for during this general reading, um, someone from the past is coming back towards you. So there was a true love in the past and then there was a question here, single or partnered. And Spirit's giving this Leo the strength <laughs> uh, to give in to this strong magnetic attraction. So for a lot of couples, I do feel like there was kind of a pause and everything slowed down over the winter. But now after questioning a partnership, uh, things are coming back around. Maybe there was a brief separation or will be in the first week or two of April. Or there has been some form of separation for a longer period of time. But reconciliation and passion is returning. So we had a passionate new beginning also in the career and finance energy. So I am uh, feeling that 2021 is going to be where singles meet new people in like-minded directions, locations, business situations, and so on. Now, in the hopes and fears position, we have very soon. So we have a, a very impatient single Leo here who is uh, hoping that eventually the right one is going to come along here. And again, Spirit saying, remember, you deserve love and nothing less. Uh, should someone come back from the past, you may be feeling like this is truly the one. But if you're not clear on that, right, the card says clearly decide. It's in the hopes and fears position. Are you fearing a decision? Well, Spirit saying, of course, when you are fearful, do not make any decision at all. Give yourself time to get to know each other so that your bond can deepen, all right? So sidestep uh, this strong magnetic attraction should someone come back towards you uh, during the first half of April of 2021. Get to know them first is the spiritual advice. So in a three-card summary, we've got someone in the first week or two of April of 2021, this Leo connecting and meeting and talking to someone through friends and family. Maybe you meet someone through friends and family and or you reconnect and there's some form of heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Yeah, someone is waiting on a past relationship to show up and Spirit saying, remember, love yourself first. Don't become too codependent on a passionate connection. Sometimes we allow ourselves uh, to fall into energies of codependency. This could become, this is an addiction to a person, a place, a circumstance, situation, even a thought or a substance. Yeah, we have travel here and finance and career. So some may be traveling and meet someone related to business, maybe going to a new job and meeting someone uh, two weeks in or something. Romantic feelings and children. So someone may have children, but they also have romantic feelings. And again, Spirit saying, keep an open mind. It's safe for you to love. Remember, love is patience and kindness. Lust is something different. So Spirit in your inner strengths position is saying, we're giving you the strength to release energies of lust for you deserve real love. And in order to figure this out, uh, you got to let that bond deepen. So it's okay to flirt, they're saying. At some point, you know, Either you're going to think someone's a soulmate here and you want marriage commitment. Yeah. 
or you're going to be unsure and trying to free your mind. Be careful. Someone might be married here. I just have to say that. And someone wants a wedding so bad. Yeah, I got wedding, honeymoon, so travel maybe, and then red flags. All right. You know what? To close this reading for this Leo... And I'm getting it for a single Leo who is hoping for someone to come back. Or someone who maybe just met someone. This is the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast to let Baron read. And I'm going to use this deck to clarify uh, the spiritual advice we've previously received in the recent Celtic spread. Yeah. So Spirit Saint Trust that you have the strength to maintain your boundaries, right? If you're feeling off balance, take off that blindfold and make sure you let people know that you're not gonna give away your mind, body, and soul until there's a ring on your finger and you're picking out houses. Yes, remember Leo, you have the strength with the summoning energies to decide, should I summon someone into my path or should I not? And Spirit is putting this card behind her, so that tells me she needs to think and remember that you are lovable and you deserve real love. Now, in the foundation position, it's time to retreat, and you've got the wishing card, so this is confirmation that it's time to go into your own space for an hour or two each day and write, draw, paint, create a journal, do poetry, do something that grounds you in your uh, foundation position. Yeah, there was a true love connection in the past that felt like the romance of a lifetime, but Spirit is saying that situation was forbidden. So no matter how badly you wanted to go into and through that doorway, it was blocked in order to protect you. Trust now that you are strong enough to maintain your boundaries and to not summon in anyone who's not good for you. So by the second week of April of 2021, we have, this could be the one. Now, sometimes this is just someone thinking that someone is the one. Yes, that's what I'm getting. And Spirit's saying, be careful with, with the risk card. Don't hop and scup, skip and jump off this cliff because you think this is the one. For in the actions position, you may be taking action or thinking about taking action in the first two to three weeks of April of 2021, Leo, to... Connect with someone. If someone tries to reconcile with you, Spirit's offering up the confidence card. So don't hop, skip, and jump off a cliff, but stand there with energies of great confidence should someone try to reconcile. Because there's going to be a very strong uh, magnetic attraction for this Leo, but Spirit is sending in the High Priestess of Air who's going to help for you to cut away from a connection, even if you don't feel strong enough to do so. So Spirit's saying you may be fearing trying to make a clear decision. And that's why Spirit is confirming with the focus card, it's time to shift your focus from another into this quiet time. Give yourself some time to think about how when it comes time to reconcile that you will walk in energies of great confidence and that Spirit will help you to cut away from a strong magnetic attraction until you can decide. Ooh. Because your bond can deepen and then comes love, right? If you surpass the chemistry and let a bond deepen, Leo, by mid to end of April, I'm going to say, you're going to start to feel energies of love. So in a three-card summary with this deck, loyalty, feeling trapped or stuck, loyalty, uh, feeling alone because of loyalty. Spirit was saying in the past, you are where you were meant to be. Sit and observe someone, but be honest with yourself. Don't get trapped or stuck in your thoughts. If a situation is complicated, don't hope for a complicated situation. Instead, travel into the direction of healing. And that's where that taking time alone to write, draw, paint, and etc. Think about old, unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles. And when communication comes, maybe by the second or third week of April, you will have the reminder energies, which is a tombstone that says, don't forget. Do not forget that you've been here and you've done this before. 
And then we have energies of deception and learning the truth, chaos, playful chaos, and then the letting go card. So it's going to be different for a few different people depending on who your connection is with. So I do want to kind of bring in the Rider Waite deck. I didn't bring in a third deck for this reading in any of the other readings, but I want to see the astrological signs and or elements of spirit would like to provide for this particular Leo during the first half of April. Trust. Get to the truth of the situation. Ooh. So Spirit's giving you a gift in the form of the Ace of Swords, getting to the truth of a situation so you can step into one direction and cut away very quickly and swiftly from another. Trust that as you maintain your boundaries, even though, <laughs> yes, when you are indecisive, maintain those boundaries until you get to the truth. Don't summon in someone or what you think is love until you get to the truth. So there's indecision here in the foundation for this Leo. Uh, yeah. Feeling like a lot is going on with the Two of Pentacles. For some trying to get to the truth of a situation regarding money or things of the material. Some you may be indecisive about an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and others you may be confused about money and or Someone who has Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. In the recent past, we had true love and a reason to celebrate with family and friends, a true commitment. But there was a doorway that was forbidden, and that's probably good, is what I'm starting to feel. By the second week of April of 2021, Spirit saying, if you're taking a risk when it comes to creativity, finance, career, absolutely, that is the opportunity for you. You will find great financial stability and independent energy. That's going to bring you energies of not only confidence, but of the temperance angel. But as you allow things to ebb and flow day to day in a very balanced way, so too will you receive energies of contentment. So remaining stable as someone may try to come towards you and reconcile in some way. You may be coming together with someone who has Sagittarius in their chart with a major arcana temperance. And this person, uh, as you come together with them, uh, helps to add and bring you confidence. Now, in the inner strengths position, Spirit saying that the High Priestess of Air will cut away from any strong magnetic attraction because there could very well be a shocking realization Let's see. Yeah, someone's fearing the truth and are wanting to go to another with the truth. And they're overly focused on this because they want to make a decision. But if you're unsure or you're angry or you're frustrated or confused, spirit saying, don't make a decision. Let it be. Focus on you. For by mid-April of 2021, yeah, get to know someone better because spirit saying when it comes to love, you're getting the devil. Now, some may be thinking about connecting with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This would be Capricorn. And that could be the one. Someone you recently met, but you haven't let go of somebody else. And I'm getting air, 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 so Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But then there's like reconciling with the Sagittarius. This could be friend, family member, or something that kind of brings a balance to the whole situation. But needless to say, we've got the devil in the outcome position, so that is an unhealthy person, place, circumstance, situation, or addiction. An imbalance, trying to get to the truth of, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Wanting to walk away emotionally and go into a path of greater abundance. Feeling like you put a lot of effort into a situation that involved justice, maybe the law, paperwork, Yeah, but now moving ahead into a path that is blessed. Look at that with the Ten of Cups energies. A new path. A path of creativity, finance, or career that is set to grow and prosper with the Ace of Pentacles. But there's indecision here about someone who's coming and going. <sighs> Listen to your intuition. Ooh. I just saw there could be a uh, confusing connection situation with someone who has 
Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So we saw Earth, and I'm feeling water, but I'm not feeling it in the first half of April. This could also be like I am communicating in a playful way regarding a situation that involves money, and I'm just fearful of trusting someone. So there's a big call for balance, to retreat, to find contentment, and to walk in energies of confidence. Be careful when it comes to what you're passionate about and how you communicate that. Okay, there's a lot going on here. It's definitely wedding, honeymoon, so we have a commitment, travel, and red flags. Red flags is coming out to about the same position as the devil, which is being served up with a love card. So somebody is wanting to draw the devil towards them because they think it's love, but spirit's saying, wait, let that deepen bond and get to the truth first. Wow. Closing message, please, with the daily guidance from your angels oracle deck by Doreen Virtue for this Leo in the first half of April. Life purpose, that's what I'm feeling right here. And collectively, now is the time to create something that comes easy for you because you can market to 8 billion people by putting something on one of the many free internet platforms, Leo. Life purpose, the card says, the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy, not only to yourself, but to others. And if that isn't a Leo, I don't know who is. So the message here as well is don't worry, Leo, about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose. And then your purpose will serve you. Right? That's what's going to bring you great confidence. So if you're thinking about taking a risk because something seems right financially or creatively, absolutely do that. This shocking realization could be... Um, I'm really passionate about something and now I can go forward with it because I absolutely love what I'm doing. Now, I'm getting a lot of this in the relationship sector with the listening card, especially in the first couple weeks of April of 2021. Uh, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desired manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you. Listen. There could be a situation that involves a child or children in the first half of April, but Spirit says when it comes down to you, what is it that you truly desire? Because that's what Spirit's trying to help you make come manifest. So write that down and then write down the action steps you're going to take daily to accomplish what you desire. For you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your true heart's desire. And once you clearly decide, what does this card say? Clearly decide. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, then they will rush into your life as if by magic. Wow, I feel a few different stories. But again, this is a call. If any of these messages resonated and you want more information about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering now the spring special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so, so very much for stopping by. To those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed, uh, thank you to those of you who come to me for month-to-month -month readings, and to those of you who follow up those readings with an email explaining exactly how these messages help to guide you into that path of peace, joy, and happiness. Thank you again so very, very much from the bottom of my heart for all of your donations, which helped me to keep this channel up and running. Take care and God bless.